on a Mercedes, which she critiques in Atlanta. Hi. Um, Zoe, first of all, I was so excited that you were getting in the director seat and you did not disappoint. I'm so excited for everybody. I've been telling everybody about Blink Twice. I'm oh, like, that's so cool. It's really amazing. It's original, it's creative. I loved all of the things, the decisions you've made as a director, absolutely amazing. Thank I want to ask you about your decisions as a director, um, getting in that chair. How are you now? Because I saw your creative fingerprint, that artistic side. How would you say you're molding and shaping uh, your vision as a director? I mean, I don't really have anything to compare it to because this is it, you know? So it's kind of interesting because, you know, you start to, you see things in your mind and you have all these decisions to make. And then you kind of don't know what it is you're doing as a whole until it's completely done, you know? And that's part of what is so scary about directing is that it's kind of like decision after decision and you hope they meld together. It's like inviting people to a dinner party. You're like, I hope these two people get along and I hope they, they like each other and I hope the chicken's right. And I hope that, you know, if this person's sober, do they have what they need? And it's just like, you know, you're just kind of going with the flow and hoping that it all melds together. Um, especially when telling a story that's so complicated like this. Um, and so it's a really interesting process. You kind of see at the end of the process, you see a reflection of who you are, you know, and who you are creatively. And, you know, it's um, for better or for worse, you have to, you have to look at yourself, you know? Well, you did amazing. I really see your fingerprint very early on. So very happy Thank to you. see you next. Thanks so much. I'm so glad you liked the film.